in the prize pool for tonight. So there's $250 up from Intel uh, for the prize. But we got our first match already up. Kill a lot of time talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, and there you go. Yuba getting started here. Oh, it's on the job CD. Okay. Trey comes out. Enjoy a little bit. I like that hop again. Doing a great job of closing the gap here and gets a quick cross up. That hop beat is so ridiculous. All right, setting up the fireball. I love the movement here from Yuba. Away, connects again. Oh my god, tried to go for some tricky fly stuff there. Nice block though on the stand up from Yuba. Man, you must make it be Janet looks like she's an anime character kind of flying around the screen right now. I'd say that is uh, definitely the strength of the character for sure. Janae is one of those characters where the more we see her, the more we just kind of understand she is here to stay, dude. Uh, the character just has so much going for her. Mm, nice, that, yep, the DP. That's one of the issues in this matchup though. Benny Mara having a, uh, a meterless reversal. Being able to go for a, a lot of these interrupts here, but if Janae can space correctly like she has been, Yuba continues to get a really good amount of pressure and good damage off these touches too. Yeah, this beat, Janet, is definitely a problem right now. Alan Ware, I'm gonna hold that, oh, the Shatter Strike! Oh, the Super doesn't connect though. Got him for the JC, nice block and the jump in. And Alan Ware looking for the trade, but Janae, you just can't contest her in the air. Yeah, that jump, the down B is so good. And there we go, B Janae getting another character down. Antonov coming out here for Alanware. Continuing to do a great job here, putting all this pressure down. Antonov is going to be the follow up here. Little scene. Uh, character's got a lot of upside, but the downsides can be very taxing if you're not right up, prepared to deal with them. Ooh, the armor. Oh, nice, the OTG Super gonna cash out a little bit of damage, a little bit of a reset here in the corner. Nice jump on the command grab. Yep, be evasive so far here, got the sweep. Okay. Yeah, didn't fully complete that auto combo. Nice anti-air, doesn't spend any meter though, wants to try and hold on to it. I mean, if you're on a comeback this big, you've got to be a little greedy. I respect that. But we've got to kill Janae, and it looks like we're not going to be able to here. Ooh, tries to avoid the chip. Oh, the DP. It's not enough. Oh, super unfortunate jump backwards there. A, uh, a good idea to be able to potentially try and escape, but not quite able to build enough distance there. The screen was already stretched, so couldn't actually jump backwards to actually build any distance from the fireball. Yeah, definitely tough there. I, I do think, like you said, not spending the bar off that DP. Um, even though you were trying to, like, you know, build up um, the... the all of the bar for the potential comeback. You need to get that first character down first. Ready, go. And getting, okay. getting back into it. Oh, that's a good attempt at the cross up there. Yuba's still able to get the connection. Nice tech. But so far, it's been all Janae. Nothing else required here. Continues to put a great amount of pressure on Akio. Does have a lot of opportunities and great moves to be able to fight out of these situations. But just picking them in the correct spots is so difficult. Yeah, really just... Okay, big chance here. Had the close C anti. Getting the pressure started. No, but the hop whiffs. And again, I love the guard cancel. You have to keep pressure going. Okay, so he into the DP had to have been execution error. I think I think he wanted Rekka there. That's tough. Yeah, and the worst thing was put out that CD, ran right into it. And again, Yuba, that point battle, doing so well with BJ. Okay. Up there. Got the air to air. Oh, and the run up throw. Good structured pressure so far from Valenware. Gonna go right into the super here. Ooh, what a cross up! Oh, and then nothing into the cross up again, and then gets the reset as well. Baited out the small touch there. Ibari not quite working out here. Good guard cancel though. Oh my gosh, the patience now again. Alan Ware trying to find a way through this pressure. Nice guys, the super juggle this time. Oh, oh the hop oh. back! Get greedy of the command though. DP comes out, no punish, a little too far. Okay. Mm, 
Trying to get the dash up throw. Good opportunities here and is able to find it this time. People finally yeah, getting to see something else where. That was, uh, that was tough. Janae was uh, kind of a menace there for a while, dude. Yeah, just the mobility is so good, but there you go. Elizabeth, a different character here. Um, not as mobile, but the spacing from the character is kind of ridiculous. Ooh, yeah, and uh, Elizabeth is able to close that one out very quickly. Elizabeth, kind of a jack of all character who is, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how Antonov is able to close the gap on her because her anti air ability is so strong and her reward is so high for it. He's going to have to take some huge risks, but that's a great start. Ooh, nice check with the 2A. Oh, so low! Oh, nothing off the 2C. Oh, oh my god. This might be all she wrote. Try to put the chest out, dude. Quick activation into the climax here is going to fire the arrow. No! Oh, oh no! Alan Ward getting a climax confirmed. There's be so much damage. Okay. One more mix up required though. The double hop. Dinkombo <laughs> jumps back out of the Shatter Strike. The gym! <laughs> okay! Antonov, not a lot of resources left, but coming into a matchup of Shermie where I think he can function in this. Shermie certainly has the advantage here, but Antonov can fight. Yeah, we're gonna be really careful about not getting uh, touched by any Shermie shoots. Oh, with the cross up jump C, but nothing off of it. Oh, okay. Nice, Ooh, nice jump. Fan throw. Very nice jump over in the finish with the EX. Yuba. Oh, able to take that one down in the end. Alan Ware, very close on the Antonov comeback, though. That is not something you see as uh, not only Antonov, a, a less traveled road, but seeing him get to have that kind of success, dude. Seeing the man just kind of stand there scheming. Round one. Ready? Go. Okay. Oh, nice attempt though. Baco. Got the first open up here, but Coach Steve will take a little bit of control back. Push to the corner now. Ooh, nice. Folks right up. Cole's just switching sides. A little musical chairs action. A couple good trades. I like that high hop. Going here. Nice block so far for Coach. A great contest to fight out of that corner. Oh, yeah. Getting it started here. Coach Steve puts out the EX Palm. A little bit too far for it. Oh, the sweep right under the hop. And pushed away. Guard gauge was starting to get low there. Paco felt like he needed to make a move. Coach sends trouble in the water, is able to get the counter poke and continues to pressure very well in the corner here. Nice, and the pressure here in the corner, the hop CD. Grab it in the corner, Paco's, oh, actually, stays mid screen for the mix up. Oh, oh, there we go, the close C. Closing that out right there for Coach Steve. Yeah, being able to get it off the guard cancel there. Very well played, very smart. Ready? Leona next up. Leona, like we always say, is a character that can thrive with uh, with a certain amount of meter available to herself. Uh, she's a little difficult to play, but I mean, Paco, obviously, a more than capable player. Yeah, I love that grab punish, that jump in hit a little bit too high, and now Couch Steve pushing Paco to the corner, but nice. I love the slice up and just the DP immediately. Is able to answer the fireball as well. Doesn't want to let any of that go in low crush. Doesn't even get the low crush, just jumps over it. The maneuverability here from Gato. Oh, that's so cheap. Oh no, but nice, the slicer there from Paco. That was going to be a, a, a stolen round easily from Gato. Yeah, I was not ready. A little reset in the end. My coming up next. My safe and simple. I mean, this character is just a very effective zoner here. She got, does have really good pressure, but for the most part, I think a uh, CD fan, a lot of stuff like that, being able to keep her distance where she can. And this is a great touch though from Paco. Cash out a ton of damage. Oh, I love the care cancel into the orb here. The roll back, trying to get out of this pressure. Oh, the CD trying to throw the earring. And there you go, Coach Steve, selling out. Took a little bit of damage in the process, but going to heal a little bit that back. Burn to fight. All right. Ready? See how Oyashiro is able to handle it here. Like you said, plenty of resources. Okay, nice trade. 
Signer, by the way, comes to a $25 contribution here to the Intel. Thank you very, very much to every single person who's being involved tonight with the Intel Gaming World Relay, guys. Thank you very, very much. I'm trying to get this team win. Oh, the slick cross up there. Going to get a bit of damage. Oh, I love that for the meaty. Okay. Spacing here. Love that guard cancel. Keep her pinned down. The jump back B though. So smart. And the fan to follow up. I feel like the fan is a very slow projectile that's pretty predictable and pretty easy to jump if you know that it's coming. So being able to switch up your timings on when you're throwing that fireball and stay unpredictable is kind of difficult. Is my I think more difficult than people give credit for. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, usually that is put into block strings, like, you know, close C into 3D, and then you put it out, or the fact that it was just, like, you know, 2A into fan, you're like, oh, wait, I'm not, I, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm chucking it out. Who cares? We'll figure it out later. <laughs> oh, so man, let's so switch sick. here from Paco. I'll say huge shout out to everybody. We are, uh, we we're only two matches in, and we already have $42 raised out of our $500 goal for the contributions to Intel Gaming World Relay. So I just want to thank you all very, very much for already getting the bowl rolling really, really quickly on this. It's definitely cool to get to see. I mean, huge shout out to Intel for providing the $250 prize pool tonight. So uh, the least that we can do is help raise some more money for these charities, I'll put this money towards something really good. So thank you very much, guys, for getting us started really, really quick on this. All right, so Paco switching back to normal Yashiro and putting it in second and moving Leona to the back. I, I kind of like that. Leona was doing a lot of work earlier, and her having more bar, like, she could just kill you. Yeah, she is, uh, like we said, a little meter hungry is, a, is another thing, too. But when you have those combos down, if you're able to get the right type of aggression here, Leona can take over games for sure. And I do like regular Yashiro a little. I Oh, Yashiro is, is, is too sick. But as far yeah. as actual uh, solidness goes, I think regular Yashiro is a good pick here from Paco. Oh, nice pressure here in the corner. God, so, oh, my God, CD, the 5A attempt. <laughs> Somehow is able to get that on the same side. Lands cross up and follows up the combo here. Straight into the super. That's not enough. Nice. Oh, and I love the pickup. Yeah, that's one of the big things I love seeing players reacting from the jump counter hit and to juggle anything. Just getting the extra damage. Back in the off here, Paco. What a great start to this game. Jump CD, though. One of the most important things to see from this character until the DP breaks out of pressure. Yeah, just swinging that in neutral. Oh, nice. Able to block. Getting a big punish off the 2B now. Frame kill. I right, get to the corner now. Oh, that was an amazing throw. Actually takes control of the situation, then back straight off. Doesn't want to overextend. And a great air to air. Oh, the state safe side. Oh, the big. <laughs> Dude, the late run underneath here, Paco. That was so sick. All right, yeah, look, look a different game here. Paco getting such a strong start on Luan. Open up with a CD, a lot of damage here into the corner. Oh boy. There we go, the damage from Yashiro to the soup can just run up. Go for a cross up attempt. Okay. Use that 5B to great effect here, one of the best pokes you've got. But unfortunately, poking, even though 5B is an amazing poke against Luong, I don't know if that's the range we want to be at. Like, <laughs> whoa, the big trade, but at least. Paco will go down there on the Luong. But we got oh, a bit of a hill here to climb for uh, Coach Steve. And coming out to the mirror match too, a lot of difficulty even on resources as well, but a full character behind, but Coach starting off with the EX. Nice block on the overhead. Ooh, that's gonna be a huge punish, close C. Has the bar to, yeah, maybe finish this off with the EX Super. There we go. Good call on that one. Able to invest full resources to take the kill and make it one to one. And really, Luong taking control of the point war and getting way ahead was the, the big difference maker there. 
Yeah, that, it, was, it was such good play. There were just so many situations where um, Lu Wang, you could poke on pressure, but um, they're opting to go for, like, you know, jump in normal CD. Just in case you press anything, and half the time it traded in Lu Wang's favor. Absolutely, and one of the one of the nice things about Luong is uh, when you're playing this character, you get exceptional at recognizing when you're getting these air counter hits because converting full combos off of air counter hits is so important for her. So Paco's recognitions of situations like that are, are ridiculous. Yeah, let's see, push Steve, can turn it around. Ooh, I love that. Trying to maintain that spacing. Oh, get the cross up. Gonna be a little bit of damage, not in the corner, so not too much. Yep, as much as you can. Gets the throw though. Keep it rolling. Long contest from so far though. And is continuing to preemptively stop these jumps. Yeah, I think it's the name of the game here. Just focusing all your uh, your power on making sure that Luong cannot get any drum pressure, but that hop CD does go through. Oh, and that was amazing. Roll doesn't get very much off of it, but still finds a sweep afterwards. That was a dangerous scenario. The coach somehow turns on its head for himself. Yeah, so definitely Lu Wang getting put down early is very, very important. She did so much work in that last match. Oh, just swinging with that Farsi. Go try to go for a grab, but Coach Steve getting started here. Send it. Oh my god, no way! That's the button you press, Paco! The confidence! Oh boy. Oh, that's a dead Gato! <laughs> Juicy starter! Was just like, yeah, let's get it. Uh, well, let's ride. Bro. I'm down. <laughs> oh I swear, god. Yashiro players always mash out that 2C in pressure and are always ready to confirm it. I, like, almost oh. every single time! Okay, that was a great guard cancel. Unfortunately, didn't get much of a punish off of it. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah, the hop CD, stop the jump out. And this is where Mai just is so good. When she's at that range, she can really cover almost every angle of trying to get out of that corner. And yeah, just fighting for that corner right now. Okay. And the pressure, there's another starter. We're gonna spend the one bar though, still. OTG, set yourself up. Mm, great guard cancel. Go the air to air jump A. Oh, I love the hop back CD. Oh, gotta get away with murder there. Got the connection the first hit. Doesn't get anything afterwards here, but look, the chip starting to add up until Paco swings, but he drops. Yeah, just goes for that little two piece there. A little scary right now. Oh, just runs into the fan. Same thing as before, like we said, unpredictable timings with the fireball here, especially with such an awkward, slow projectile like the fan. Okay. Two people. Oh. Nice. Who's ready with the flash kick? Had that thing charged for a minute. All right, now down to Yashiro. Now again, pretty even on bar. Um, Yashiro can do a lot more with that. Two bars and just goes for the super right through the orb. Okay. Oh, give a flash kick again though. You see, push to the wall. Guy, the frame trap. He's gonna straight to the EX super. Are we gonna safe jump to OTG? Oh my gosh, the pressure here in the corner. Nice sweep. Oh my god, but he presses it again. OTG, no! Oh, oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh no, it's all you get off of that. It's so rough. Kip is gonna add up quick. Coach has meter too. Oh my god! Oh. Okay. Runs underneath. Got the sweep. Oh, oh, I love the guard cancel. You wanna deal with that mix off the earring? They are both getting so aggressive here. 5B goes for the jump in here. Nice. But now, like we said, Chip is adding up in the 5B. Just a tight little kick. Able to close it out on Leona. She doesn't quite have the buttons to be able to mess with that. It was part of the different um, parts of the new Intel processor. So very oh. cool stuff from Intel. Y'all need to stay here with Team Chile, though. That's important. Of, of course, of course. All right, so we got Yurikov up again. And Zaga, actually. Okay. 
Yurikov rocking the Yashiro. Yashiro Krone and Janae. Yurikov said esports. It's time to yeah. bring it. Definitely picking three. Three incredibly powerful characters on this patch. But Krone in second is a little interesting. We'll touch on it when we get there, though. So far, Yashiro doing a great job of rushing down Chizuru, who's normally kind of tough to get to. Yeah, Chizuru is so good at keeping the space out and kind of faking you out with the clones. But Yurikov has been keeping it up close and personal, just getting all of these these hits, the knockdown, and look, the same side! That was so dirty, that was very ambiguous. That is, uh, AG saying it, uh, or, uh, or Jalen saying it. Uh, I am surprised no Manson Kun, because that is, uh, definitely the character that I think of the most when I think of Yurikov, the character he has the most success with, but he's fighting it out right now, and it's working out really well, a full character ahead. Oh my gosh, and this really shows the strength of Yashiro, just so oppressive in that mid-range. Bro, get aggressive. Oh. That BCEX, dude. Okay, hold on. Man, I'm and the worst I'm thing Yashiro is, player. <laughs> you, you get a hard knockdown off of that too, and then OTG, they jump. Oh my gosh, the pressure is on here. Almost got the link off that 5A. All right, this is the start. Gets a Shermie shield, gets the Oki. Oh no, was it airborne? But the close C match there from Yurikov. Right. With Elizabeth on the anchor, though, plenty of resources for her and a super stable character, like we always say, has plenty of uh, plenty of resources, plenty of time, and is able to cancel into the EX now one touch away. Mm. Yeah, keeping it real simple, and I love the fact that Zaga Rafa, you know, spent all that bar, like n not like playing around with his. I need to make this comeback right now. Yep. Oh, but here we go, the demon. The Gotta boy. Be careful here. No fly zone directly ahead of this guy. Gotta be careful. Yeah, every time I see him, just putting that drill forward, I get scared. Oh, and that is the tough part here. You can't be too liberal with your jumps. Then look at the double overhead. Oh no! Oh, the close A, that was so brave. With punish there, continuing the pressure with the slides. Oh, oh nice, completely whiffs. We get a bit of damage here off that close C starter to the hard knockdown. Man, good blocks from Yurikov. Okay. Oh my god, almost got the whiff punish there. Cancels into super, good amount of damage again. Shatter coin with the tier one, thanks buddy. Appreciate you always coming through, dude. But I, yeah, so look at the EXDP into the full follow-up afterwards. There. Uh, real rough there. I mean, mounting a comeback, but when when Cronin's on the screen, you cannot jump. Like a lot of those jumps, I was like, a little risky, a little risky. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely one of those things where it's Select two characters one. where <laughs> Shadow Koi, thank you for the two gifted tier ones uh, as well, man. Thank you very, very much. It's one of those things where uh, it's two characters that kind of dominate the skies. It's more about just, I guess, picking your poison of how you want to approach it and how you want to get around those kinds of scenarios. Uh, Cronin does so good in those scenarios and in those situations, but you have to be careful because of... Uh, I don't know. You just you have to weigh your risk reward against him. It, it's yeah. the jump in can potentially win you the game, but it's just you're you're risking half your life bar every time you interact with him off the ground. It's just, you always have to really really consider that. Okay, so Elizabeth, now on point now here for Zaga. Ooh, nice catch the cross up. Ooh, nice anti-air. Okay, going for as well. Okay, fireball Oki. Oh, that dude, 5D, the hero button. What an anti-air from Elizabeth. Okay, again with the 5D. Doing a great job of using it. Oh, no oh, drops to combo. I think it sucks. Oh my gosh, that cross up is so crazy and now down to just a little bit of health and just a quick overhead with the EX. All 
Right. Snake Ready. continuing to be a menace here for everyone involved. Yurikov getting so much mileage out of this character. And oh just like gosh. that, from those distances, she threatens from ranges that you just feel like it, it seems like there'd be no way. Yeah, she really does control a lot of that aerial space, has a lot of amazing jump-ins and air-to-airs, and on top of that crazy down B. Piece of Shadow Strike 2. That'd be 2C from Shermie! Oh no, just holding all of this pressure. I love backing off. Gonna let make Shermie approach this time. Oh, gets the shoot. Oh, <laughs> that was disgusting. What a way to fight back into it, though. Shermie continuing to do well in these scenarios. Gets a face off against the Yashiro, though. Again, he has a lot of resources here. Two meters, easily kills on any touch at this point, and that should be a, absolutely a cash out. Shermie goes down. Yeah, it doesn't even need the super there. And now Chizuru again. Um, we'll see how it turns out this time. I feel like Yashiro is doing a really good job of dealing with Chizuru in the in the, the last match. Stand your ground. Ready? Go. Okay, nice step back, but the EX continues to break out. Yurikov doing a great job of repping reversals in all the right places. No, oh, trading out. Oh, nice! It gets the run up uh, 6B. Oh, no, and the cross up. It is actually should be currents here for Chizuru. And there we go. The 5B to follow up. Yashiro 5B is just such a potent button. Whoa. And then you go DP cancel into another elbow. Like that does like 250 damage or something like that. Uh, Jada, this is a uh, a broadcast coming out of Tampa, but the uh, broadcast team is from all over Florida. Uh, there is the hurricane going on. We are still okay. Everything is fine. There might be some small interruptions for commentators, for the stream, for things like that, uh, if the weather is not permitting us. Because obviously we're at the uh, uh, at the mercy of Mother Nature. But uh, everybody here is safe. Everybody here is good. Excited for some more KOF. Thank you for the uh, for the appreciation for that and for uh, I guess asking about it. But we're all good. Nice. Oh no! That's an unfortunate drop there for Silvera and Violin King to pin it up here right into the knockdown. We definitely will. None of us are in evacuation area, so we are all good to go. So we are all all hunkered down, sheltered in where we're at. Again, huge shouts to every single person for for uh, the concern for that. But I promise that uh, we are we are all safe and sound. Okay. Yori continuing to be a menace here. Vera, the fight out of the corner, but tries to go for the roll backwards. It's really pressed, but there's the DP. Yeah, Gustav, it, it's just kind of hard for Gato to kind of establish himself versus Valenkane just the way they've been playing Yori. He's so clean with it, and that is a punish on EX Palm there. Gonna take that knockdown there with a close C. We're looking for the 2C for the preemptive anti air there, too. Gets the knockdown. Oh, and what a jump in, but can't complete the combo. And VK, one touch away. Oh, again, the EX Palm just biting Silvera in the butt. That's a little bit too far. Right. So here's that rock we've been talking about all night in chat. I mean, his damage is incredibly high on these normal touches here. And uh, he has one of the better Commandos in the game, too. Let's keep it real. EX Commando from Rock is incredibly powerful and such high reward. Yeah, you get the combo off of it. Like, it's crazy damage, but no, the very narrow jump in there from Iori. It's be a lot of damage, too. Next hit could possibly do it here. The DP right through with the Rising Storm into the EX. Okay, there we go. Iori going down here. Yeah, worth every penny to make sure that Iori is no longer on the screen, but now Cronin will be the next one up. Another character that is a hot topic for sure. DK, show me what you can get done with this. You have to be so careful. Any jump could potentially be death at this point. They have three bars on deck. Mm, try to go for the run-up throw there. I like that cancel on the fireball, and I like how they're delaying it too, but this is going to be VK cashing out on this touch. Yep, into the rifle super, and there we go. Violent ganging the first one here on Silvera. Being able to take the shot there, the level two. Very well played from VK. 
closing that one out. I do like Cronin second if you have a, a very versatile and not necessarily meter hungry anchor uh, uh, point character, excuse me, like Iori. Mm -hmm. uh, so it kind of activates you to where you can have two powerful anchors essentially on your team. Cronin coming yeah. in second, you don't necessarily need to fully commit the meter every time. Uh, and Rock being able to be a jack of all that can use the meter, but that doesn't necessarily need it if you spend it all with Cronin in the second spot. Also, thank you so much to Hurricane Kitten for donating $5 to the Intel Gaming World Relay. Thank you so much. Yeah, Hurricane, you're always wonderful. Thank you very, very much. Oh my gosh, just the CD. Right to the knockdown. Two state save side! Okay. Can you get a little bit more damage here into a safe jump? A little bit more damage. For this setup. Takes, takes a third more of his life. Goes for the EX follow up. <laughs> Aye, and that's enough actually BK clutches to keep himself in this one losing out of Yori that early would have been devastating But still in a great spot here. Yori doesn't have that much health one confirmed from Gato could easily seal that I mean Gato is one of the highest damage characters in the game off a of half a bar So you, you've got to be careful yep. and that is a great whiff punish Oh nice gets the DP on the other side against the corner too. Oh my gosh Found Kane just being very aggressive here with the hops DP. Oh, and empty with the low. Couldn't actually get any follow up, and DK finds a DP no! and then fades the DP from Kato. This is not going great here for Silvera. Looking very similar to that last match. Nice. Gets out of that command grab. Oh, there we go. The T pose jump in there. Waffle Kalef is a really, really fun game. I would super highly recommend it if you, are, if you enjoy 2D fighters. This is a, an amazing game to get into. Over. Still just looking for that one little cash out here. Gato with this much meter. Threatens a lot for Cronin, but Cronin, he doesn't really care too much, you know? He'll be all right. Yeah, just, he stuck out the two, eh? Eas easily went into the slide. Very efficient, as always. But there we go. Rock again has almost four and a half bars here. It'd be a quick two touch. Okay, guard cancel. Get yourself some space here when you have four meters left over still. It's a great decision. Oh, no. Rip. Dude, those, the reversals kept getting Silvera in trouble. Yeah, the, the real tough there. A lot of the times, Valkyrie wasn't even doing anything. Just standing there threateningly. Uh, but was enough to get Silvera to let it rip there against my, the house, like, you know, break all the windows. All right, let's see it, though. We're back into it. Reno versus Johnny. And that round start, Elizabeth able to get the jump over and base off the rising tackle as well. Oh, my gosh. Look at this pressure. Just full hop CD. T-Blaze coming through, by the way, with the gifted tier one. It's T-Blaze. Thank you very, very much, man. Appreciate you guys uh, for the support to the channel and for the support for, the, uh, for Intel tonight. Who tried to chip out with that orb? Not a lot of chip left to block here for Johnny. Oh, the, the fireball in some of these situations, especially against uh, such a good reflector in, uh, in Elizabeth. He gets the bonus. Oh, my God. And that was the game plan, trying to get Rita to try and bite on any of them, trying to reflect, but again, not enough to kill just yet. Oh my oh. god, that was so risky! I, I think they believed. I think they believed that Rita might have tried to press a button there. I mean, if that connected, you're a hero, so I <laughs> really respect it. Oh man, backing out though, Johnny on the Janae now, Elizabeth. I think Elizabeth actually does pretty well against Janae, specifically because of her reward off of aerial hits. So Janae has to be a little more careful about how she she can't go as wild as she normally would like to, I think. Yeah, B Janae might be the master of the skies, but Elizabeth is very good at keeping people out of them. As I say that, she's just getting mauled from the skies, dude. One more follow-up. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's so cheap. Yep, once you block that, it is real tough to kind of deal with it afterwards. Right. Yashiro back in the mix. Almost three meters. Let's, depending on the touch here, it could be a two-touch situation. Johnny tried to go for the fireball here, but Reno recognizes that was missed time. He's able to get the back dash out. Now reapplies pressure. Oh, nice. Oh, my gosh. That CD has really been kind of uh, the big tool a lot of BJA has been utilizing. Just throwing it out in that mid-range. Half the time, they get the wall splash. That is the deepest cross up of my life! Oh my god! Yeah, literally crossing up on the armpit there at the last second. OTG saved your situation here. Oh, I great love that. Oh, and another one! Dude. Amazing anti airs back and forth. One good one deserves another as we continue the pressure here. And oh, is able to mash out. Yeah, the EX there gets the hard knockdown to the fireball pressure. Oh, the. Time ticking down there, and the 3D will take it. And now Reno going down to Ash. But I mean, if there was an anchor you were going to bet on here, this is a, a great character build to do it here. If you can get out of Janae without spending too much meter, you can put Cronin in a really tough situation. Yeah, I'm trying to see my favorite combo in KO 15. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can play very safe zoning here. You don't want to spend too much bar. You want to be able to kill Cronin off the first hit. Dude, and the structure of this pressure. Johnny not looking like he has much to do with it, but that was a great jump out. Yeah, I love how Johnny's not going too crazy because knowing that that flash kick is available at any point if they leave the ground. All right, you're in an interesting situation here because Reno can kill Johnny off the first hit, but Cronin cannot kill Ash right now because of the bar differential. Yeah, so you have to be very careful about how you approach this here. And Reno, recognizing that we're just looking for that quick activation now, starting to be a little more aggressive with the positioning. Be careful for oh, the wiggle! <laughs> I love this. I, I love this pressure. Just threatening. If you get touched once, you are dying. Yeah, actually got the grab here on Cronin. Block on the empty low, mashing that 5D. Good call out here. Like you said, that is one of the easiest ways to get the connection here. Spends one meter, but still, oh, no. I think four is all you need for the full confirm. Yeah, I, I think even a three and a half is enough. Oh no, the big jump in, and now Kurt has enough bar to go into it. They go to go for it, the level two. Oh, they're still alive. Uh oh. Oh, down a strike. That's it. That's it. Pack it up. Pack it up. Oh my god, dude. So unfortunate. Spend the meter and is able to get the finish with the EX cancel, dude. That, what an ending. That was so stressful. And, and I'm really impressed with the way Johnny played it out because that whole round, he could have died off of getting hit by literally anything. And the fact that they were able to fight it out enough to get enough bar to get that three bar combo, unfortunately, wasn't enough to you know, finish him off, but still very well played. Yeah, seriously. I think that there's a lot of, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not too worried about the direction they're going to go with patching, guys. I think that uh, overall, they've done a good job so far uh, in terms of like keeping something strong, something's weak, uh, and they're listening and they're balancing based on uh, actually kind of paying attention to what people are saying, which I think is super important, but they're not over committing to what people are saying, which is cool. I don't know. Have some faith in them. I, th I think SMK is out there. All right, Johnny trains pressure down here on Reno. Nice, and there you go. The instant 214B. I don't want to deal with any of that hop CD pressure. Mm, one more touch. Oh, jump over Johnny. Try to go for the throw, it looks like, but it doesn't work out. Yeah, that's a tough bait, too. Just running deep into him and jumping. Again, the EX down B. Gonna get, no, doesn't go for Fireball Quick this time. Just going for a safe jump. Okay, away again. 5D working out pretty well here. Caught the anti with the 3D. Mm, 
dude. What a follow-up all the way to the corner here. They have so much wall carry. Yep, with the EX ODG, that's enough damage. Oh my god, I always forget. I'm always like, wow, living with a pick. Oh, hmm. OTG. <laughs> I was huh? like, do they have the bar for it? Yep. <laughs> dude, what a starter, though. Yeah, just taking that situation there. I think that is a safe jump off of that. Okay. Loki here too with a fireball. Oh, nice! The last hit actually did not hit, so they're able to get that 2C right out of here. And the advance cancel, puts it to the wall, has meter now, and that is such an... If that situation feels impossible to deal with, man. Oh my god, so crazy. What a cross-up. Oh my gosh, and Reno just saying, I dare you to approach with these hop CDs. Oh my gosh, Reno's pressure here at the Asha looking really good. Having Oak spaced up pretty decently here. The, the key is being having your threat territory be far enough away where you're not always in threat of the DP from Crone and Reno showing off why Yashiro can get these situations done. Oh, the block on the overhead. Yeah, good stuff here, but Johnny really needs to get a clean hit. Oh my god, just the tip of that hitbox there too. Now has Yashiro in the corner, gets the grab. Could go for the Oki. Oh, a little bit too far. They want to go for the close D. Oh, too far for the follow-up too. That's okay. This is jump burst to the turn. Look for the cross-up and does find it. Look at the meter. Yep, level two. It's not enough. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, so greedy, greedy went for the level two instead of going for the level one, level two. I mean, how could? Uh, you no, know, let me for Intel. So make sure you guys take a look at those links and uh, help us make it happen. All right, so you, uh, with the very impressive BGNA, let's see how they kind of deal with Violent Kane. Yeah. In this uh, in this first match of top eight, actually. Oh my goodness! Yeah, already. Oh my God! The CD into the late jump over. That was so sick. I love this pressure. Yeah, try to jump out. The late hot beat did do it there. And the open up with the tip of the 3D. No, the drop. We pick it right back up. Oh my goodness. What a sequence of unfortunate events there. But BK still kind of won out. And being able to do a great job to fight out of that full health Kyo. Still out here ready to fight, man. I mean, this is the character we know most for BK. Oh my God, he takes one to the sternum. Good God. Yeah, there we go. Huge juggles here. Doesn't go for the spender at the end. Oh, I love it. The air to air, trying to keep Valkyrie here in the corner, trying to maneuvering to kind of limit the movement. But there we go. Valkyrie already fighting back to mid screen with the open up off the two B. Falls up again. Back end of the DP. Half your life gone. Finds a connection again. Same situation. Oh, just, just stands there with the 2B. No backdash, no hop. Just stand there and 2B. The He's confidence so from VK. He's so damn cold. That was so sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rekka goes for the full follow-up. Actually gets the cross-up afterwards. Dude, VK is looking nice. Yeah, one of the... Kind of the... You know, long time S uh, KOF player, like, not surprised by how strong the, the Kyo is. Yeah, not enough to kill there. Oh my god, just oh. mixing off the Rekas, and there we go already. Valonkin running through the team getting the first match. Being able to get that stand D fighting out of the corner here. Very well played for sure. BK, well deserved first game with the Kyo OCV. The Kyo CV. The Kyo. <laughs> Yep. I just I try my hardest to squeak them in wherever I can. <laughs> the Kyo CV, the Joe CV. There's a lot of them that are really important.
I feel like I haven't seen the, the show in a long time. The Rio CV. We've never the seen Rio. it, but one day. One day we'll see it. will never be a Rio CV, but one, no. I, I hope to be there if it does happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yuba getting us started here now on Violent Kane. Getting a way better start. Misses the close D. Okay. Try to go for the jump over there, find the throw. Nice tech and a good follow up, too. Yuba be way more aggressive here at the start of this. It looks good on him. Yeah, now that Yuba has the advantage, could play a little more measured, but no, what a cross up from Violent Kane. Lows, good follow up with the Rekka's here. Nice confirm off of that. He's able to go into the super. Oh, this is the OTG. Oh no, but just a little love tap with the 2A, 2A, Valon Kane. Turn that round around. Man, I always think that my team is set in stone, that I'm happy with what I'm playing, and I watch VK play Keo, and I'm like, man, I'm playing the wrong characters. That you were just talking about so how many different characters that were on the list. You're like, yeah, I'm thinking about this character, about this character. Come on, man. I have a good problem to have. There's too many good characters in this game. Bro, see me when uh, Shigo comes out. I'm ready. So you're, you're talking to the Darley Dagger fan club. <laughs> Looking forward, is able to get the DP in the corner. One more touch Looking for the jump over. Same side pressure. Oh, nice blocks. Oh my gosh. Another CD. No counter hit. No juggle. Oh my god. Just throws out the Rekka. Oh, still has a decent amount of health left on Kyo too. Might be able to do it again, actually. Whoa, oh that was so gosh. Late DP. So late. And there we go. Again, another clean hit for Valon Kane. Kyo doing so much damage here. Oh. Mm, trades with the EX as well. That was ridiculous. Jenna coming through, by the way, with a $10 contribution. Thank you very, very much. Again, to every single person who's helping us here, you can do exclamation mark intel in the chat to get up the, to pull up the information to see yourself how you can help out and get uh, get involved and donate with this. Oh, the hop into the super. And yeah, next hit, we'll do it here. You must be so careful about the approach. Oh, that was so sick. Dude, the hits back to back. These two are both so ridiculous with the confirms. Yeah, nice. He gets the cross up jump. See, this is the start here for Yuba. Won't be able to kill just yet. Could go for 50 50. No, just kind of waits it out. <laughs> nice trade. Really nice trade. Oh. Oh my god, and goes for the close follow up there. Love that overhead. VK, looking kind of nasty. I mean, as always. He is probably the highest tier team you can go for right now. Yeah, add Yashiro to that list, and we're. we're oh, yeah, yeah, Yashiro sure. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think Yashiro uh, might, might be at the. Uh, probably the fourth spot. Rock would be in the fifth spot. I don't think so. I think that, I mean, I don't even know if it's a hot take at this point. I think that like, Kula has pretty solidly cemented herself. It's probably the best of the game to me yes. personally. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. She, she is so annoying. And on top of that, she gets crazy damage off of her combos. Her harassment is like unparalleled. Yeah, being able to use that top two as well. But there we go. Nice press out of it. Elizabeth trying to fight out of these situations here. Reno. Okay. Oh, they just run up underneath the normal jump. Okay, Tamago. I mean, the movement speed of this character also is so slick. Like he said, being able to get underneath there, that cross underneath is so nasty. She is literally on ice skates. Like, like, like not even, not even proverbially. She, she is on ice skates. Okay. Top to follow up here in the corner. He's able to find the throw. Dude, the strike throw game always looks so sick in this character. Gentatsu, yup. Shredding it back here in the corner. It's so egregious. I, I feel some of her hop normals are kind of insane. Okay. 
hopping back here, taking a second for themselves. Yeah, maybe just a bit of connection issues here. Oh boy. JP connects. Like we said, guys, inclement weather with the hurricane, obviously, so we have to be uh, do our best here. Oh my gosh. Just the tip of that jump A getting DP'd by Tamago. Dash backwards here. Good tech. Continues to be a menace, though. I don't know really what Ash can do to break through, or break through this kind of uh, his wall of pressure that Tamago continues to move forward. Yeah, it's going to take one hit, and even though it's it, it sucks to do, you have to spend the bar, right? Like, you, you're going to spend two. the bar on yeah at least two here to, to get rid of a Akula. There you go. Fireball. Just take the knockdown. Get out of the corner. Willing to spend the one, though. is not willing to commit. Keep it rolled with the zoning game. Fireball, closing that gap. Ah, ah. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Nice, roll. nice roll under. No! To the DP. It doesn't work out. Yeah, the X Tatsu, um, putting them in an infinite hit, uh, <laughs> juggle state right now. All like right. we said, guys, give us just a moment. We will have that back together as soon as we can. As uh, it's, it's always one of the situations where when it comes to online brackets, things can not happen here and there. As soon as we know what is going on, we will definitely make sure you guys know. But uh, thank you again for being patient with us and uh, for hanging out and continuing to support us when it comes to KOF 15. I love this game, so I, I hope that we get to continue to run this game for a very long time, for the entirety of the life, dude. It's it's so much fun. Oh, yeah, indeed. And, and uh, I don't think we have talked about it yet, but the Sam Show team uh, yes. trailer came out, and they look kind of ridiculous. I think Dolly Dagger had the coolest climax out of the three of them. Like, uh, like her climax was sick. I am a I am a Darley enjoyer, so I'm definitely mm -hmm. uh, as long as the character is pretty good, uh, I'm I'm invested for sure. So <laughs> we'll see how that ends up working out. I think all the characters look pretty good though. It's a uh, none of the DLCs I think um, other than maybe other than maybe one character. I think uh, most of the DLC has come out and has uh, has felt pretty good <laughs> to play. I, I've liked a lot of it. I think they've done a really good job on the redesigns of a lot of these characters. And the characters that aren't necessarily fully redesigned or just kind of like, uh, I guess, updated versions of themselves also feel really, really good. Yeah, I think the big thing is that, like, um, for the different characters, they've done a really good job of making them feel like their old characters, like you said. Yeah. And on top of that, with like with the um, Garo characters, they have their their break cancels, which I just think is a really cool addition to put into the game. Mm -hmm. You know. So I wonder if there is something specific that the Sam characters will have. You know, a Rage Bar, or they have Eason. Like, 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 what are they gonna do mm -hmm. to add the extra special sauce on top? You know. So it looks like, uh, according to our uh, our admins that Tamago has won game one. So it was a connection error with us uh, on the viewing side. So uh, okay. I, I, I don't know if we were just disconnected from the lobby, but the game completed and Tamago was able to take game one. So that was that was Tamago locking down game one. So it is currently 1-0 to Tamago. All right, um, I'm gonna get them back in here. Um, plus for simple plus for that say his name, I won't. We can't. We dare not speak his name. Yeah, it's real tough. I was actually just talking to someone at Siotaku about uh, about Billy Kane. They're like, just just let me poke in neutral without getting punished by super. And I, I feel like, you know, that's fair. Understandable. I want to say, again, before we get into the matches, we get the character slice so going. Huge shout to everybody for continuing to support us here. When it comes to Intel Gaming World Relay, I won't get to keep plugging it here because it's very important for us to continue to support this great cause. You can do exclamation mark Intel in the chat to get that information up to be able to donate yourself to help us out when it comes to this. Or you can scroll down on the Twitch page. If you go down just a little bit, it'll say Renaissance Charitable Foundation Inc. That is another way to be able to donate as well. So make sure you guys check out all those different things to be able to help out with a lot of good charities here. Ready? Go! Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, still checking out the connection a little bit. We'll see. Trying to maintain that pressure where he can. Tracy comes out. Good touch. Is able to find the knockdown. Oh my god! What a catch with the Niji Hop! That's crazy! If that was on purpose, that's ridiculous. Ooh. Hit on the same side there. Lucky he didn't get a punish from a throw or something like that with how high that hit. Oh my gosh, I love just jumping back D. Just trying to stop the four momentum from Tamago, but here we are. Kula has him in the corner. Into the super, not enough. Still, one more touch. <laughs> yep. Don't know if he expected Good. that 2B to reach that far. Play down Troc here. Oh, easily clean this up here. One clean hit can do it. Oh, a little bit too far for the 2A. And there you go. Picked it right back up. EX. And there we go. Shimmer to kill right to the elbow. Mago, seeing the rep here with the jump CDs with Rock, as you should. Throw that out whenever you can, often and early. <laughs> Oh nice, my god. Nice, this time. Yeah, they're just trading out with anti-airs right now because they both have very strong jump so They want to make sure no one gets free pressure. Mm, same situation there. Oh my god, he puts the shoulder forward though. He's gonna cash out some of his damage and goes for the super actually. Oh ho ho! Just runs up with the ES command grab. Won't be able to kill just yet. No safe, just gonna trip out. Oh, that Try was to go so over the guaranteed smart. chip. Okay, uh, chill. Like I love the pack. fact that I love the fact that Reno went for the DP in between the gap between the fireball and the elbow. Like that was so sick. Okay. To be hit, nice flash kick. Charging for a while. <laughs> Oh, I love the safe play from Reno. You want to overextend, even though you got a lot of bar to work with. You want to make sure you have enough to kill Cronin in the back. Oh, just poke it out. Yeah, not taking too much off of it. We're going to go for a war of attrition here against uh, Tamago's Rock. Oh my god, but it works out again. Continuing to hide those charges within the firewalls. And able to get that easy anti-air. Oh yeah, Reno is at a pretty big advantage here. The first touch could kill, but then again, uh, if Cronin builds enough bar, it could be very, very scary for Reno. Oh, that's it. All right, pending any execution. This should be it here. Type of scenarios this character can put you in. Look at the follow up AA. Uh oh. Is it? Yep. I, dude, the 5D. Okay, it looks like it's just enough. So sick. Oh my gosh. I feel like I love uh, Ash so much because it reminds me of, of KOF 13. Because, like, TODs <laughs> in that game were so, like, they were everywhere. I definitely enjoy that kind of combo style for sure. And it, uh, I don't know, it works out well. It's nice. Yeah. Round one. Ready? Go. Here we go. Back oh, at it no, again. DP. You know, early getting pressured out. Already to the wall here. I smack out of it though for the most part here. Gotta be careful about how Kulo approaches though. Like we said, Ertachu is so good for applying good pressure, but there we go, Reno. The two Bs. Oh nice. Tries to lead with that hot B too. No really much clean hits here. But there we go, getting the first one here with the EX Tatsu. In the corner we go. It's not looking good here for Reno. Oh my gosh, just the tip of that hop CD touched. Okay. 
Backing it off here. With the ice breath, Trey comes out, Kula, pressure's on, and just again, just tries to maintain the spacing after the hit. Marino's gonna be able to cash out with the meter one more touch. Ooh, I love trying to send out that orb, just go for that last bit of chip, but Tobacco's still alive! Oh, the EX is good! Dude, no way he jumps over and lands on the EX DP, dude. What a call out. He said, oh, I'm dead if I do. I'm dead if I do. You might as well let it rip, you know. Yeah, gonna Show try and go for some extra credit here on Yashiro. Okay. Oh, nice evasion there of the CD. Nitro putting the shoulder down is so <laughs> scary, but the 2C is just as frightening. Yeah, that's a little great effort there from Kula trying to get a little bit more on Yashiro, but now he'll back because of the time. Roll away, but Yashiro doesn't really seem to care too much about it here. He said, you're just taking yourself closer to the corner, brother. Oh no, I should confirm off that close C. Tough break, but Tamago. I didn't get punched too hard for that counter. Oh, just lets it rip too. Cash down to the super into level two. Yeah, I agree. Spending all of that meter here, but now pixel of life left. Yeah, gonna back off checking for chip. Okay. Oh, hey, the trade comes out. I appreciate the type of footsies Tamago is trying to play because he was trying to preemptively punch a dash punch if Reno was going to try and go for chip in any way. So good ideas. But unfortunately, Reno kind of sniffed it out and is able to win out with the trade. Yeah, didn't even bother going for the dash punch either. Just poking out with normals. I love that this is the frame trap off the two way into the 6A. You can net a nice safe jump here. Okay, found that throw. Oh, does it again. Tamago into the overhead. Mix continues. Oh, the shimmy trying to get something out of here. Nice, the hop CD covering that. Again. It's looking real rough here for Reno. Oh, the, <laughs> the 2A counter hit in the air to the super. And he blocks oh, the DP my too. God. Dude, oh. Reno, a couple, a couple incredible call outs into ridiculous hit confirms in a row. Dude, no way. Shadow X really does play K Dash different. So we will see how it comes out. Yeah, on paper, Yashiro should be able to play out, uh, like out footsie K dash, but I don't know. Every person that plays K dash really just kind of plays very, very differently from other players. So. Okay. Like these, there's good timing on these back dashes here just to respace himself out, but continues to win, lose out on these weird little trades. Yeah, getting a lot of damage here. Ooh, low profile. This is a start here for DS Shadow X. There's pressure here in the corner. Got yeah, a very extensive sequence now. Ooh, the whiff punish! Dude. Easy connection. Oh, but the EX in response! And then spins the super. Johnny's gonna knock down the K dash. Reach for the top. Ready? Uh oh. The music swap. Oh my gosh, from the far C2. What a pickup with the close C. Nice. Stop the jump now, but cool coming in on Johnny's side now. Burn to fight. Ready? Go! 
Okay. Okay, use the fireball there. Using Eeyore's fireball against uh, against Kula can feel difficult because of how good Ice Breath is at nullifying some of these situations. Yes, Shadow X continues to make it look easy. Yeah, really kind of a lot, a very measured play, not uh, trying to be in spaces where Kula can just kind of like uh, the burst movement, either with the Tatsu or the slide in to try and force something. So, tries to auto uh, confirm off that 5B into max, but not too much off of it. That's to the $1 from I Love TNS, by the way. Thanks again, guys, for helping us out with the intel that comes to uh, putting this money into the charity. Ooh, and the duck hole! My goodness, good stuff slipping in right there. And, you know, that that's really your... You, you play it very safe until you find that one moment for a very explosive mix-up. Okay, looking for these pokes, a lot of whiffs between these two, trying to play these footsies out. And Shadow X playing a ridiculously brave footsie game against Cronin here. You know he's got three meters. Yeah, I feel like, you know, that bravery is kind of messing with Johnny here, just runs him for the close C. Oh, and catches the back, that's not too much off of that 2A, 2A. Okay, poke again into the EX fireball, converts off of it. That should be all it takes to take the kill here. Only needing to spend that one extra meter. So one and a half to be able to close out the kill here. Yeah, Shadow X down to the, uh, uh, call him the demon once again, Mr. Clark. Yeah, and Clark is, um, you know, at, as people have said that, um, you know, a great pick against Cronin. Really good at really dealing with the way that Cronin wants to play. Yeah, Frankensteiner and 2D, I think, are so important in this matchup. Specifically, 2D to pressure Cronin from a space where DP is not effective. It's very, very important. <laughs> oh, the rollback! Oh, no! This will be... Yeah, not going to spend... Oh, my gosh. The 2C, but nothing off of it! You see twice oh too, but there's the follow up there. Johnny able to go for the chase down. DS Shadow X looking a little, uh, a little, uh, like pressed in those last couple situations. And it, it's just surprising to see as he is normally the one who is uh, kind of invoking his will on people, right? Yeah, uncharacteristically, very, like, I feel very careful, like, not careful, but I guess a little scared. There was a lot of rolling going on in that round where they were just trying to make some space with the roll, but Johnny was ready to chase down. Wow, I'll teleport through with another grab here. And I wonder if maybe just some of that confidence has shaken uh, DS Shadow X. There you go, having a great start here against Yashiro, spacing it out. Oh, nice, the run under with the 2A. Follow up. I am what an empty jump so brave with the way that Johnny's been playing Yashiro all night for you to just be like, I'm coming in. I don't care. Nice. Ooh, oh my gosh. You think you can whip punish it, but then that next kick comes out after the Tatsu. Oh no! my god, again the connection. That's so tough. Oh, no again, just letting it rip. Two big open up, purely on DP punishes here on DS Shadow X's side. Okay. Oh, and I stroll away. Oh, and what a cancel the fireball too. Very aware is Johnny. the roll through and, oh actually gets a bit of a punish there <laughs> and there we go cool taking down k dash yori coming in we'll see if uh can deal with eori i feel eori was a big problem in that last match
Okay. Oh my god, and what a whiff punish on the tots, dude. You just never see that. Okay. Oh my gosh, wake up close, see. Got a little roll backwards, trick him out. Oh my gosh, such good spacing there, but they didn't get too much off of it, but still, knowing that spacing is really important in this matchup. Alright, keeping it up though, Johnny, one more touch. Double jump, too far away, gets the anti with the ice breath though, is able to pressure from such safe distances. Oh nice my god. On the other side. Oh, it just runs up with a close C. Again. Giori taking down Kula. Giori being able to fight that one down is important here. He has Shadow X. You've got to get as much done as with the Iori as possible before Clark comes in. Clark was getting pressured out so hard last time. <laughs> Lockdown. Oh, the close C! I wonder what Johnny was going for. Roll backwards. Have a connection. Rolls backwards a second time. We're gonna have to make something happen here. Oh, oh my, my god. God, the trade was not what he was expecting to have happen there. Maybe he was expecting to just purely beat it clean. But Dio Shadow X gonna be able to get the trade, make it one to one. Again, losers bracket for these two. This is scary. Oh, we're seeing maybe a different team here on Johnny's side. Mmm, I see. Yes. Today gonna be one of the swap ups here. Are we gonna go point? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind it. Oh, K Dash, I think specifically was gonna try and uh, reposition to try and avoid. Uh, or maybe he wants K Dash versus Janae specifically. There was a lot to go into that. Like with, yeah, being exactly. Swap, being able to swap after character picks is uh, adds so much metagame to this. I love it. I do kind of like the Iori point because, um, you know, K Dash was going down, um, and then Iori would kind of clean up Kula, you know? Was fighting that matchup incredibly well, so if Kula was going to be in the point spot, moving Iori with it was a smart choice. Yeah, I definitely agree. Okay, good block string there. Decent amount of damage to the guard gauge, but immediately has to back off afterwards. You can't overextend against this character. Oh my oh. gosh. Dude, I mean, are we in agreement? That's probably the best 2B in the game, huh? <laughs> it's so good. Chainable, the distance is ridiculous. Like, just thinking about it in a vacuum, man, that is a that is such a good button. Yeah, but this is not looking good now. Get Shadow X down Iori and now down to K-Dash. Jump in, a little too far. Oh my god, the CD. But afterwards, just kind of hangs out. What, tries to wait for the roll, but it waits a little too late. Yeah, I hope we don't see any accidental DPs here. <laughs> well, there we go. There's one. I don't think that was ac accidental. Very clean on the jump in. in wake up close see again just opting to think that maybe going for a grab there a clean hit now the shadow can actually go for the kill off the super there we go the shades are thrown and there we go kula will be going down being able to spend that meter toward every single penny like we always say to make sure that the character goes down no hesitation if it means that it's one less character to have to deal with Right, I think with the Rackas here, Johnny, good spacing so far. 
Oh my gosh, what a jump in there too. Into the EX, 3D. Follow-ups to the wall. Continuing here, Johnny, look at the pressure, but there's a good guard cancel. Yeah, kind of just forcing your way in with that jump, EX, down kicks. Oh no, oh, the TP. Yeah, I thought Ew. they were gonna go in with the kicks too. That was a good read, but unfortunately, great bait from Johnny. Yeah. Now, DS Shadow X, it's all down to the Clark. Are we gonna get some crawl gaming? Or are we gonna get uh, sent packing here? A lot of work to do. Today, this is a this is the worst draw on this team for Clark. I feel like. Yeah. Clark can go for air to airs, but I'd be. BJNA just controls the air. Even though you, you should be scared of air airs from Clark, she covers a lot of different distances that makes it hard for Clark to kind of go for a hard read. He has to commit just like that. JA is so good for being able to stop those situations. And now mix Ooh. up time. Yeah, a lot of damage back into the tackle. Rolling Cradle, get that damage out. Oh what the run up? What a run up there. Chooses not to spend the meter and gets a close D. Oh my god, dude. What a snowball to take it down to the final character now. Cronin versus Clark. Yeah, well, I want to see if... Oh, <laughs> I was just about to see. I want to see more confidence in the play here from Dia Shadow X. But oh my god! He's cooking right now with Clark! Hey, nothing but confidence coming up now. Oh, trying to go for a wave, but the wave hesitation is death. Johnny's going to fight out of the corner. So even right now. Ooh! An important note about this matchup here. Uh, Johnny cannot use uh, the B jump slash. Uh, it is, uh, or the the D jump slash, excuse me. It is immediately punchable by an SPD. That is gonna be enough, I think. Oh, man. What a comeback from the Shadow X with the Clark. Free known VK waiting to play a little bit later on. For now, we gotta sort out some losers affairs. First one being Tamago and Coach Steve. Ooh, again. Uh, one of the big weaknesses I feel for Gato is like access to anti-air. Um, the actors are very situational, and on top of that, um, the only invincible one is that DP. So to kind of deal with B Janae, um, Coach is going to have to take a lot of risks. Okay. Good up. Pressure on the, in the corner still. Nice press though. Swings out of the corner. Tamago. Gotta be brave to get out of those situations against Gato. <laughs> Just goes for the TP after the whipped EX bomb. The coach definitely making some decisions there. Cross up comes through and goes for the EX follow up immediately. Again, same scenario, but coach willing to risk the DP once again. Not just yet. Nice. The close C is good. Nice to deal with okay. cool, uh... Oh no. Just getting EXDP to me. They can just get chipped out at this point. Oh my god. But this is going to be a huge amount of damage here. Coach, spend what you can. Jump over Tamago. Tamago saved himself a huge headache. One more touch there from Coach Steve. Kind of puts that in a really risky spot. This match is kind of rough. The way that Kula could just hop over those fireballs for free. So was, you, you have to keep the pressure on. You can't really get um, try for that mid range with Maya against Kula. Mm, love that wake up close C. Really effective anti here in a lot of these scenarios here. Using 5A to kind of bait out Tamago to chill for a little too long. They even get the jumping off of it. Oh, I love that. The jump back uh, A to try and get some space to throw a fireball. Attack. Ooh, empty throw. Coach tried to go for it. Tamago's the one that comes away with it. Oh no, and Kula gonna steal out this round! 
absolutely. The damage being so high off of touches like that. Right down just Yashiro. Oh my gosh. I actually just punched on the way down after that just jump D. Okay. Up here looking for 5B. Dash up 2C had an exact read on the jump timing, but unfortunately was a little bit early on his punish. Still is able to close it out though. For a clean hit, nice, get off the far C. No, the punch super whiffs. You have to hold it a little bit. Okay, connects and super cancels. That works. Trust Anonymous, by the way, the $5 contribution. Again, huge shout out to every single person involved, helping us out with raising some money for the Intel Duke. But, first game down. Don't lock it down with the Yashiro. Kind of a ridiculous way to go there from Coach Steve. Yeah, they're very, very well played there. Um, Tamako didn't really have much time to breathe. The Yashiro pressure was on starting from the round. All right, next round coming here. Gato kind of got in there on Janae last time. He was a... Uh, Kind of put off her uh, off her game in a lot of these scenarios. Yeah, I like the willingness for Coach Steve just to DP every single time. Uh, B Gen A trying to approach from the air. Oh my gosh, just poking out with that two one four A. Okay. Nice jump in, coach. Stay same side. Tech though, and the answer immediately. Tamago looking much better in these and the, these pressure situations here is taking advantage. He's kind of taking the lead when it comes to these little the little dance back and forth that they're doing there, and that's where Tamago absolutely shines is when he's setting the pace. Yeah, it's so hard. Uh, the, like the fact that Coach Steve actually won, won the point war last time was actually pretty impressive. Ooh, I love the neutral here. Trying to play in a way where Bijene just can't take to the air very easily. Fan comes out. Okay. Nice roll backwards. Awesome. Ooh, what in the world is that? I feel like Coach just consistently gets the weirdest cross-up scenarios, dude. I love that easy cash out. Yeah, taking the momentum back. Nice, same side. That jump beat could be very ambiguous. Oh my god. Just throw it out. That far C, the slap. And the foot is coming through again. Coach Steve, it's going to be up to Yashiro for the second time to come in clutch. There's the first character down, though. A great way to start. Let's see if Coach Steve can make this comeback against through the cool. It's going to be real hard. I feel like, you know, oh, but that's a start. The 2C actually reaches. Oh, no, okay. On the other side. Dude, just look at the absurd amount of damage here. Gets the jump over, catches the roll as well. Tamago wins out so many scenarios in a row there. Dude, Kula just continues to be so dominant. It just feels like there's no scenario where she's down and out. She always has control. Yeah, it, it, it's so tough because like on top of the strong neutral, her mix-up game is kind of crazy with how uh, low her jump normals are. So she can go like instant hop C, or it's in a hop D, a lot of different options, or just going to low. Um, 
just the, the all-around package is, is very, very strong. Ready? Go! Okay. The sweep gets the jump in. Easy connect. Yeah, again. Away on that. Try to go for the hop over. Tamago presses immediately. A little bit too far off that crouch B. Trying to get the pressure started. The hop CD. The wall pushes her back in the corner. Oh, the DP right into his kick super. Tamago continuing the defense, holding up. Nice use of the sweep for an ant here, though. Yeah, 3D and they're gonna get the fireball. Goes for the cross up. Nice blocks from Coach Steve and a grab into the corner. Had the hit. Patience here for both players. Time ticking down. 10 seconds left. Yeah, coach has a lead though. No need to overextend. Allowed four seconds up to the clock. Tamago finds the hit. It's enough. A pixel of life left, but Tamago is going to take first blood. Okay, good stuff, but not going to get any health back. So Coach Steve can just sneeze on B Janae here. Not without getting some damage of their own started. Yeah, just gonna go for the trades out. Just keep keep the pressure on. The chip will do the job here. Oh, again, pressing with that 5A. Nice jump over though. Tamago back in control. Even with this pixel of life left. They're really fighting out with it. Oh, nice trades out. And there we go. Bijane will finally go down there, but Kula coming in. Back to it. Going for the jump in. Nice anti here. Coach. Keeping it locked down. And again, great use of the fans here in a matchup where it is very difficult to get some usage out of them. Nice tech. Oh! <laughs> again! Proxy, how many crazy jump beat cross-ups can one person get with my? I don't know. Coach just feels like he has the answers. I mean, they got to be on purpose at this point, right? Because it can't be this. It can't be accidental every single time. No. Just trying to check the guard with the crouch bees. And again, almost caught it again. The X Tatsu guard cancel back into the court. And again, the hop up. That is one of the things I hate to see as a my player. Kula just hops immediately over the fireball so cleanly. Yeah, and she gets such a huge reward for it, like we said, being able to convert just about anything to the corner. Coach Steve makes some magic happen. Nice tech. Two meters. He's get escape pressure, though. A lot of meters spent from guard cancels from Coach to get away from Kula. But this character, she's just so sticky, you can't get away from her. Yeah, it's so hard. Um, because if you just sit there and block, you will eventually get guard broken the way the pressure is. Is and you know, you have to go for a hard remake jumping out, but there we go. Coach Steve finally gets him to start in the corner, trying to bite with that frame trap, but no go. Tamago still just kind of maintaining that space. Oh my god, Tamago connects on the same side. Nice tech, back it off a little bit, trying to win out in the footsies here. There's a swing. Yeah, just trying to outspace Cooler right now, and there we go, a clean hit, and finally. Very well fought there. Quilla will go down. Elizabeth coming in for Tamago. Yeah, and not a lot of uh, health actually retained there from Coach. Less than half Tamago. Depending on the touch that he gets, we'll be able to kill on one touch. It's yeah, gonna be tough. How, much, how much meter can he build up as well is going to answer a lot of these questions too. Yeah, well, yeah, sure can do a lot of damage off of like two, like one and a half bars. So this could potentially be a two touch if they get the clean hit. Yeah, and Elizabeth, this character, oh, loves the fish no for quick way. activations too, but here we go to the wall. Spends the super immediately to Mago. Gonna take it two to one. Coach Steve well fought to keep it as close as he did, but only one can move on, and Tamago is gonna earn the right. Yeah, second wow. round. Ready? 
see them come all the way back into this. That's absolutely ridiculous. I also like the fact that DS Shadow X uh, started out Clark here. So maybe want to play a bit more aggressive against the BGNA that K Dash wouldn't cut it. Oh, doesn't go for the tackle. Just want to keep the corner. Okay. For the hop over. <laughs> is able to go through the, the attempt at swinging. Oh, but missed execution. It looked like they were the standing D. Anything else off of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is actually a good anti air now. Oh, the close C. Yeah, and then roll out of the corner. And try and go for an anti air. And the whip punish with a 2C. Good stuff to DS Shadow X. Yeah, dude, and it's it's. I feel like it's almost weird seeing Clark on point for this guy. He's just kind of made it. Uh, has continued to like kind of push the metagame of Clark in other situations here. Who, uh, when we traditionally normally would see this character in the earlier spots. Oh my gosh! Gets hit with a hop edge from the from the tip of that hitbox. All right. Walk there, crawl, dude, standing C, 2C into the follow-up. Look at this damage. Yep, going for elbow, gets the Oki. Oh, I could have sworn that was going to be uh, Frankensteiner. Oh my oh, god. There it is. And had, had an opportunity for EX tackle, said no, mix time. I, I'm going to save that meter. He said, let me be frugal. Good god. Yeah, but Shermie is stocked with bars here. Any hit could do it. Oh! That, that has to be something from the last set they played. Because yeah. who would hop there that yeah. close? Like, what in the world, dude? <laughs> that, was definitely, that was definitely some I know he knows type of stuff. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Oh my god, you actually don't see the anti very often. Just sending out the fire here. Okay. Oh my god, nice guard cancel. Trade as well. Oh wow, the spin kick right over it. Yeah, Shadow X spending a lot of bar on defense. Dude, but oh, Shermie's nice. cross up buttons are nothing to mess with here. He's gonna spend some meter. I, I spend as much as it takes to make sure you get yes, the kill. Sir. The EX super should be enough. See everybody, like everybody that. in the chat, everybody in the chat has given major love to him. A huge shout out again to Crispy Kaiser. I know everybody in the chat is already raining down the love, but it's very, very of well course. deserved, man. Thank you seriously for all the stuff that you guys get to do. Honestly. Oh my gosh, just running down with the close C, trying to find the right spot to go in. Nice, I love that. Counter hit confirm off the anti air. Jump over, trying to avoid the standing seas. DS Shadow finds the throw, pressure's on, jumps the scum attempt! Try to go for the command throw. Yeah, you were just sniffing out all these command grabs no matter what character is on the screen. Dude, what a jump in into the EX. Follow up, mix up time. Oh, I love the rollback, didn't want to deal with that mix up, but just trading out here close to see, not enough. The command grab's good this time, and there we go. DS Shadow X getting that first match. All eyes are on the winner of that fierce fight. Man. Winner. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already feeling that, like, the meta has been established between these two players, and we're seeing oh, yeah. very specific reads. Absolutely, like you said, that that the very odd hop, Shermy versus Clark. <laughs> like, there's just some <laughs> things that have come out where it's like it's very clearly they're like playing some. Uh, we got a, a little bit of 4D chess going on in some of these scenarios. Yeah, definitely some big brain stuff. All right, let's see it though. Oh, here, dear Shadow X, nice whip punish there from Yuba. Stuck it in the corner here. You might want to fight out here. B Jenny can 
keep that pressure on too. Set the fireball. Oh my god, just a Frankenstein in the middle of the block string. That was so flinching. So far. That was so far. I love that jump back B to make sure Clark doesn't get in on you. And again, back into the corner we go. He's been doing a really good job of making sure that DS Shadow X stays in the corner, but a nice uh, grab there. Going back to mid screen. The JP there again. We're just looking for air to air trades on those, trying to convert to the EX tackle. That's going to be Yuba. Getting the hit, push to the wall. Yeah. Ooh, oh just stuffing out with those C's. Oh, yeah. there we go. That is one of the unique things about Clark, being able to convert off of just about anything when you are using EX Tackle. There are counter hits in the air or on the ground. EX Tackle will almost always pick it up. Yeah, the anywhere juggle on the tackle is kind of nutty. I love it. I love it. He he needs it. Unironically, he needs it, he needs it dude. <laughs> it's so sick. Ooh, yep. Spending that bar just to get Clark off the screen. You don't want to let this man play. Oh, nice jump in. Caught the roll backwards too, but didn't have the confidence to swing afterwards. Yes, Shadow X again, giving up a lot of space, but is, is not afraid to take it back in this scenario. When we saw Yes, Shadow X not looking good earlier, it was scenarios where he was being too defensive here. And I love like this, taking space with the hop. This is where he's at his best. Yeah, right into the super here. <laughs> I could have sworn they would go for the overhead. Oh, there it is! Great block from Yuba! I'm gonna get a fat punish, look at all of this damage. Gonna, not gonna spend too much more off of it, but... Nice grab from Gish Shadow X. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the rollback on the Shatter Strike, and there you go, the follow-up off the teleport, Gish Shadow X. Down to the anchor here for Yuba. Alright. I mean, Shermie was a menace last time, though. If she can get half the mileage she got before, then she'll be able to bring this all the way back. Oh, no. Not at the Shadow X. That's anything to say about it. Getting a lot of clean hits. Oh, oh. no. Again, it wasn't counter hits. They couldn't oh, What's God. happening? Oh, my God. Hold on. Okay. Quick activation still there. Uh. Nice hop CD. Yup. Oh, nice confirmed two off the counter hit. There we go. Shermie gonna go meet again Iori. Oh, there was an update that we missed where Shermie became Nightcrawler. I have no idea yeah, how she ended up in those positions she was in, dude. Oh my god. It almost looked like she did close C into like roll, like a roll cancel, but like that's not possible. Okay. Yeah, Shadow X doing so well though. The Commando is jumped. Is really getting sniffed out on these Commandos. Maybe he needs to ease up on it a little bit, but the Shermie shoot. Yuba says, let me show you how you find a command throw. Oh my gosh, this is so tense right now. Trying to get a clean hit. Great block on the taco. Again, no, just do it again. If it didn't work once, no, the record didn't hit. Oh, he tried to go for the EX, but the Shadow X just swings. The second he's in distance, he swings. And that's such a good call out there. Yuba picks an option where if there's any amount of hesitation from DS Shadow X, we have a game three. But this guy. Ooh, nice to run up with the 2B. Already establishing a lot of aggression. Just trading out here. Valen Kane has great positioning here with that hop CD. Oh my gosh, look at the guard bar. Yup, the 5A instantly. They want to take too much of that uh, guard damage. Oh yeah, just in case uh, <laughs> y'all didn't know, there is a hurricane here in Florida. So, um, you know, connections could be a little spotty here. Um, but, you know, don't worry. Uh, Proxy will be on his way back uh, as soon as possible. Found Kane, the Hop CD, keeping the pressure on the Basher with the 2B and the CD to boot afterwards. Reno getting the first character in this match. Turning coming in. Nice grab. 
Ooh, nice. The hop CD. Oh, drops the combo, but <laughs> does the frame trap DP afterwards, and that is the end of Elizabeth here. Yeah, Shiro coming in. Oh my god, what a crazy gamble. Long Ken definitely playing to win right now here in his winner's finals. This is three out of five. Keeping the pressure on in the corner here for Yashiro. Okay, trapping with the 2A to the 6A. Trading spots, but Violin Kane gonna cash out the damage. Oh my gosh, the Slash is letting it rip right now. Oh no, trying to get a little bit too cute there. The 2A gets hopped. It has enough bar here to cash out pretty far into the level 2 EX. It should be Cronin. Good stuff. Yeah, I love the fact that Reno was just really taking it to him. Round four. Ready? All right, but Kyo, as we've seen many, many times before, Violent Kane's Kyo is just another class. Oh, nice pick up on the other side. It's the red kick. Level one. All right. Good stuff. Right down to the anchor here for Reno. Ash does not uh, potentially have enough bar for a TOD just yet. I think I think it's about like three and a half bars or, or like two and a half if you do the super optimal one. Von K has to be a little bit more careful with the approach. You can't get hit by any uh, two Bs or any jump ins. We open up off the overhead. Ooh, Rito being so trying to get out of the corner somehow, but Valon Kane playing it so safe and patient. Oh, the whiff on the 2C! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's checking with a hot B into 2A. Shatter Strike, yeah, a little bit too far for that punish. Oh no, but the hop CD, Valon Kane getting this first match. That was a nail biter! Keep an eye on this matchup. Yeah, Jalen Twist, I'm not I'm not sure if Ash can kill I know Ash can kill with two, but it has to be off a specific starter. Um it, But uh I know you can definitely kill with like either 2.8 or three bars off of like a 2B. Round one. Ready? Go! Alright, starting back into it again. On Kane. Oh my gosh, just hopping on him right now! The guard's about to be broken he's so careful! They don't have the bar to go for a guard cancel either! Oh no. Oh my gosh, Freedom just trying to get out of the corner any way possible. Oh my gosh, and Violet Kane. Just keeping the aggression on on Elizabeth. Round two. Ready? Go! Oh my gosh, but Reno going to work here. With Yashiro checking with the 2B. Nice interrupt with the 2C, but nothing too much off of it. Looking the Shadow Strike. Oh, nice. Yeah, cashing out to you. OTG into the safe jump. You can just chip out. Oh, yep. That jump back, uh, that jump back A actually has crazy distance on it. It's actually fairly fast too. Just putting out the normals that top CD is actually kind of tough for Cronin to kind of get in on. Oh no, big pick up here. Level one. Now 
Black Hand getting a hop CD pressure of his own. Oh my gosh. Great confirm off that far C, just swinging a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Right back into the super too. Safe jump. Oh no. Shadow Strike coming out. Wishing a bit of bar. Did not hit. Might have expected maybe a dash punch. Oh, and trading out too. Good stuff. But again, Violent Kane has the kill on Anchor. And that, you know, he kind of goes crazy with him. It's very aggressive defense here with the hop back CD, but now Violent Kane's kill is in. Oh, no, right to super. Not enough yet, but whiff on the DP. The kill's been doing a lot of work here for Violent Kane. Just so impressive. It, it is so cool to see Kyo still doing a lot of work here, but again, Ash, the king of TODs. Oh, I love putting the orb out. Oh, and the record just goes right through and now I'm going to push into the corner. Nice clip with the cross up. Reset. Oh, this stays same side, but that's such a good roll to get out by Reno. Be careful with those rolls now. Oh, no, did it throw off the 3D? Shadow Sharks now go a little too far for the punish, though. Oh, what a cross up, and there we go. Reno gonna fire back with a match of their own off this cancel. Good stuff off the climax. I actually do not see that climax very often. Just like that, tied 1 1 here in this winner's finals. I wonder if we're going to see any changes here, but no, just keep it the same here for both players. Get round one. Ready? Go! Right again, let's see if Violent Kane can match the aggression that they got in that last round, able to get Elizabeth out incredibly early. Oh no, the whiff on the anti-air. Oh no, the hop CD pressure, cranking that guard bar right now. This is the best time to apply pressure. There's not no bar to go for a guard cancel. Oh my gosh. That's a big punish there, expected that. Maybe uh, auto confirming for a hit. Nice, right over the hop CD. Reno kind of applying the same pressure that Palm Kane was doing with Rock. Oh my gosh, no punish. The hop B was a little bit too high. Great anti and the chip will do it here. Ooh, yep. That D has a pretty good anti -hit hop hitbox. You know, getting a throw here into the corner. Oh, clean hit, too. Getting a lot of mileage here from Elizabeth. Air reset. Oh my god, Cronin. The damage. I never get tired of seeing that super. He's really shown a very good Yashiro play in the Cronin matchup, with, which is going for that hop CD to kind of stop any for momentum or kind of running up or anything. Probably hit out the uh, the slice, the 214D or 214B. So it's a great option to kind of have like uh, retreating defense. Oh, the close to the overhead. Then go for it again. Oh, the big, big poke out. Oh, the super and oh my goodness. 
thank you so much to Joan Gomez 7 for the 10 gifted. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Gets the juggle with the super. And now, again, um, down to just Kyo. Oh, he actually doesn't go for the super here. He's taking that knockdown, pushing him the corner. Oh, no. The up kicks a whip, and this is a fat punish. Definitely, Rinu could take this round off the safe jump. Ooh, the early jump C, punished by the 2A. Go through, switching sides now. Can apply pressure. Overhead's good. Oh, for the 6 speed to the max cancel. Kind of expensive, but you need to take Yashiro down. Be a hell of a comeback here for Valon Kane. Can't get hit by anything here by Reno. Oh no. Goes for the double hop with a jump B. Right, evening up the hell. No, the EXDP whiffs. Could have got punched a little bit more. Ooh, nice air to air again. Clips the same side with a hop B. Has enough for the super. Trying to go for the chip out. No, the flash kick does not hit. And there you go. Violent King gonna go up two one. Oh my gosh, it is so stressful right now. They're going back and forth. Yeah, it's kind of hard to call here. Both players have been going so back and forth, trading characters until the anchors. And even then, Violent Kane had the deficit there. Came in at half health, so good stuff. Let's see how this turns out here yet again. Applying a lot of the hop CD pressure. I love that jump B as the interrupt. The hop CD has a little bit of a sl slower startup than other jump normals. Oh no, the EX counter coming out. Safe jump here. Oh my gosh, the, 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 the hop CD in place to avoid the fireball. Knocking on the door here. Ooh, I love the avoidance. It kind of changed up the strategy from going for the 214B anti or just going for air to air hop bees instead, but no, gets hit by Valent Kane. Clean hit. Nice, yeah, go for the DP. Oh, a little bit too far for the cross-up. Oh my gosh. Hop CD hit very high. Valve Kane. Just, you know, going for the grab, just in case. Yeah, but a uh, clean hit in the corner here, and as I said, it will be huge for Valve Kane. Look at this damage off of that 2B. Safe jump situation. Almost picked out for the low, but great defense from Reno. Oh my gosh, that close C frame trap. So good. Yeah, I think uh, Yashiro's close C is insanely fast. Something like five or six frames. Oh my gosh, the 2A hit whatever the hell Valid came through out there with Cronin. Level two deleted. All right, yeah, Valon Kane at a massive advantage this time around. Let's see if Reno can make the comeback. Round four. Ready? Yeah, luckily Cronin doesn't have too much bar to work with, but can easily just kind of play the neutral out. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, it could be enough here. Yeah, but a little bit of bar here at the end. No, the flash kick whiffs. Oh no, this is a start here for Cronin. Level one. Ooh, nice. Great pickup. Kind of different dynamic this time in this uh, anchor battle. Reno still does have two and a half uh, bars, but Malon Kane has been able to navigate the neutral against Ash incredibly well. He's kind of fishing with the hop CDs right now. Great anti air that flash is locked and loaded the DP and the super on the other side. Trying to stay out of trouble. Oh no! Yeah, not able to pick that up. Could have been a huge pickup. No, the 2B! A little bit too far for the 5A. Or the 5B. But there we go. Max cancel. This should be enough here. Holding my breath right now. I would love a game five here. Gonna get enough for the super. There we go. Two, two in this winner's finals. These two know how to rumble. Winner! Oh man. Arena's yeah, usage of Ash on Anchor has been so ridiculous. Just that stress of potentially dealing with a TOD at any point in time. Round you have to play one. so careful. <laughs> That's a rip again right off the bat. Von K not holding any of the pressure. Oh, a little bit too far. Didn't get anything off that 2B, 5A, 5B. Checking low here. Nice, the run up baits out the DP. Ooh, yep, going for the restand too. Keeping the pressure on, great grab. Okay, trying to push Reno into the corner here. Reno, nice, standing the ground and then going for the roll. And just kind of retreat with aerials now. Oh, and the Reflect too. Very cheeky stuff from Reno, and Rock will be going down real quick. Stand to ground. Ready? Go. Yep. Going to work here on Cronin. Oh, nice! The DP! Going to cash out that damage. Guys are protected again on Elizabeth's side. No jump zone for both uh, characters here. The run up, no. Just tapping on that too. B, you have to watch your legs. But this is good here for Reno. Elizabeth did a lot of damage. Oh boy! Yeah, the EXDP's ripped, and it actually wouldn't be a dead Cronin off the super into the punch. Real simple. Oh my god. Wild and Kane again damages Kyo. I've seen so many comebacks from this Kyo, but I don't know. Rita's looking real healthy. Has a whole character ahead of him. Just threatening that a hop CD. Oh, nice blocks. It's hit by the ender, though. Oh boy! That's getting a lot of little bits and pieces there. It's adding up here on Reno. Oh, nice. Gets a DP. 
gonna get the juggle here. Oh, the close C still hits, and you get the cross up. Nice, getting the link off the 5B into the close C. You get a lot of damage into the safe jump off the kick super. OTG. Chance here. Oh, the tech. Fought out with the Rekka, and there we go. The anti-air is good, and now down to Ash. And now Reno has Ash with not a lot of bar. Only having about 1.8. This is actually kind of really good for Violent K, not having access to the TOD right off the bat. But again, Kyo does not have much life to play around with. Instant guard cancel. The patience here for Violent K. Oh, yup, trying to jump. Reno is ready with that flash kick. Oh, the EX right through! Chance here. No, it goes the wrong way! This isn't going to be enough for the kill. But it is a two-touch situation. No, it drops! Oh, no, the flash kick can just go for Chip here. Going for the fireballs and the orbs and the EX fireball will do it. Reno taking it 3-2 over Violent Kane and will move on to the winner's side of Grand Finals. Let's see, backing off and then throwing... Oh, no, running in! Yeah, trying to establish their neutral here. Not going for anything too crazy. Nice poke off the Rekka. In the corner here, Tamago, the Shadow X trying to poke out. Oh, nice, the DP. It's kind of hard to anti air that from the hop. It is solo to the ground. Oh my god, the close C. Actually whiffed on the jump in. Big chance here. Can actually go for the kill. The elbow's not enough. Safe jump. Oh, and the back off, too. Tries to go for the EXDP, but no go. Tamago will be taking down Iori first. Okay, Dash coming in. Nice anti air with the fireball. Gonna push. But no, nice roll from Tamago to get out of there. Doesn't want to deal with a little bit too much. Nice to juggle. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Or something here. Nice reaction with the DP. No! Actually baited out the counter, but no punish. Oh, nice. Gets the anywhere jump, but not too much off of it. But still a rock. Lat Next one will do it, and there we go. The jump is good, and cool is coming in on Tamago's side. Oh my gosh, this EX Tatsu running up, grab into the corner, keeping the pressure, just checking with those two Bs, and another grab. It's so hard to deal with coolest pressure. Oh my gosh, the hop right over it. Yeah, Shadow X. Nice DP, hop CD. Again, warm back to neutral here. Oh my gosh, the hop CD actually completely whiffed there. A lot of weird drops here in the combo, but working out here for DS Shadow X. Still has life deficit, but could be in a worse position. Side switch DP. Oh, the close C on the other side. I love that so much. And Kula, the chip will do it. Try to avoid it with the crouch B, but nice. Cleaning it up there. Round four. Ready? Uh, music change here with Cronin. Nice. Oh my gosh. Gets the hop right over the 2C. And this actually should be a dead Cronin. And DS Shadow X will take this first match. This is just the start of a new worldwide legend.
Man, Gear Shadow X made that match look real easy. Everything just worked out for K-Dash. Right, right back into it. No character changes, no order changes. Round one. Ready? Go! Yeah. Shadow X going for a little bit more of a zoning approach this time. Kamago trying to close that distance. Oh, nice. Is that safe jump too? The pressure's on here. Oh my gosh, the CD. Doesn't get the elbow off of it though. Oh my gosh, actually ran up and got the knockdown for it. I cannot believe the EX command grab made that DP whip. That is so unfortunate for Kamago. And the DP to seal it. Very aggressive start here from DS Shadow X. Kula do a lot of work here, but the Shadow X actually playing so strong right now. Oh, nice block on the overhead. Better punish from Tamago. Gets the grab. Oh, ow, wow. Didn't even go for the punish on that. Might have been a little bit too far. It was a little scared. Maybe could have gone for the XTP afterwards. Starter off the EX Fireball. You get the crumple and a lot of damage too. Oh, it's just the roll up C! Oh my gosh. The Shadow X is playing insane right now. No big start. Not dead just yet, could just go for the chip out. Oh, the DP from Dia Shadow X. On oh, the close C afterwards, too. I wonder if we're gonna see just the, Oh no, yeah, just hop back CD. I was wondering if, if Dia Shadow X could have gotten Tamago to go out for just that DP. Nice to get out of the corner with the roll. Nice pick up here. This is looking like that last match again. Kadesh is getting insane amounts of damage here on Cronin. Oh my gosh. Oh, again, the same situation. Just sitting at that 2C range and a hop C right over it. And Dia Shadow X now up 2-0. Oh, or no, that's it. We're in semifinals. That's the match. Dia Shadow X is going to take that 2-0 oh over Tamago. Let us get into it. And the Iori mirror at the start. You love to see it. Oh my gosh. Big taco here from Violent Kane. Oh, man. Gets the grab on the X command grab attempt. Oh, the free stand right to the X command grab. Man, these two are definitely showing off the strength of Iori right now. Oh, the Shadow X winning out this first Iori mirror. Burn to fight. Ready? Go. The Shadow X kind of bleeding on the fireball a little bit here. Oh my gosh. I've actually been noticing this a lot when, when Iori's been kind of establishing the fireball game. Just kind of run up C has been getting a lot of uh, mileage there, but big. Combo there from Violent Kane, Iori going down, K Dash coming in. We've seen K Dash do a lot of work today. Round three. Ready? Go! Yeah, I love it going for that up plane to maybe catch any jumps in. Oh my gosh, just threatening with the fireball. Not even going for the follow-up. Wow, just stuck that in right there. Yeah, no. Oh, got the overhead afterwards. Yeah, 
close D is an overhead. Oh my gosh, yeah, I cannot wait for the Sam Show release next week. I'm very excited to try Helmaru. Ooh, let the D swipe, let rock. Cashing out all of that bar into this combo here. Backing off. Oh, but with just the tip of it. Oh, no. Yeah. Doesn't let the EX kick rock. But no punish. Open up that 6A. Catches the clip with the leg 2B. And now the Shadow X. Down to just Clark. We are Kralk gaming right now. Catches the roll through. This matchup actually does kind of... Clark kind of does win out in this matchup with the 2D and the Frankensteiner, neutralizing a lot of Cronin's kind of options there. Nice gets the roll through. Oh, nice pickup! What a reaction. You love to see people just running off of counter hit anti-airs. Good stuff. Oh, no big jump. That was actually super scary. Great tech. Oh, is that going to hit? Yup. Good. Yeah, he, he was so close to the ground. I'm surprised that that hit. Yeah, but two bar anti was that worth it? Might have just wanted EX a DP and got a Rising Storm instead. Oh, yep. I get ripped there too. You can't let Clark get too much pressure on you. It gets very scary when you're in the guessing game. Still swinging out. Nice. EX turn punch into the tackle. Rolling Death Cradle into the corner. Oh, Shatter Strike. And there we go. Violent Kane going to get the first match here in this Losers Finals. You know, uh, Genpachi, I also miss Ralph. Ralph was so much fun in this game. I, I, I miss that far heavy kick. That far heavy kick was definitely a lot of fun. Select order. All right, maybe an order switch here. So Clark on point potentially. Oh no, K okay. Oh, okay. So K dash on point, Clark in the middle this time. Yeah, so putting Clark in the spot where Cronin is just to make sure that you, you know, you don't bleed too much when Cronin starts to tear through your team. Round one. Ready? Go! Jump right over the Rapukin. Oh, no! Let's out the DP. Doesn't get too much off of it, though. Yeah, Shadow X cooking in the corner now. Oh, my God. That guard bar. Oh, luckily, just got out. But wait. Right back into the pressure. Can't block too much off of this. Yeah, had the jump. Doesn't want to deal with anything. Oh, no. The clip from the max range 2B and the standing uh, 5B. Just a sweep there too, and Dia Shadow X getting this first character out. Round two, ready? Oh, the, I love the music change when uh, K Dash Cronin on the screen. With that two C, that two C actually has been kind of big trouble for uh, Violent Kane. Dia Shadow X has been out of that range, but this time actually gets the hit this time and a lot of damage off of that combo. Gonna cash out. Gonna make sure you get K Dash out immediately. No! Out of range for that DP! Oh no. Now coast to coast too. Oh, I love the double DP juggle. Oh, try to go for the overhead! On the teleport, this is in the corner, but swings out after the slide. Oh, let's see if Iori can make this comeback. It's gonna be real tough here. Yeah, Shadow X already getting a bit of damage here. Has the corner positioning. Oh, 
Oh my god, the 2D. That long range uh, low. Every time I see that button, it reminds me of the, the Dream Cancel 98 wiki. Oh, big confirm off the far C, right into the super, that side. Right back up, shoulder, Oki. Oh my god, the DP right through. Violent K not scared, even though fighting from the anchor position here. Oh no, but there we go. DS Shadow X tying it up. 1-1. One, one. AG42. <laughs> it's just a dandy J. Oh my goodness. Oh, and thank you so much to Anonymous for donating $20 to the Intel World, uh, oh my gosh, Intel Gaming World Relay. Thank you so much. Ready, go. Again, starting out, bit of zoning. When the run up C. Patience here. I'm not seeing as much active Haas, but as I said, at the Shadow X just hopping on him point blank as Rock runs in. Ooh, the counter. Yep, gonna have to watch for that. We've seen a beta before, but Valen can't use it very rarely. Ooh, interrupting that slide. There we go, Rock winning out the point war. But Clark is a very big momentum killer. If Clark does get started, that's an easily kill on Rock. That's why I feel like it's very smart to have Clark in the middle, um, just to kind of stop the momentum, just in case your point gets smoked. Watching a backbreaker right now, Super. You want to make sure Rock is DED. This battle should bring the hype. Round three. Ready? Go! Ooh, nice start. Odd can go for the hop CD. Oh, beats it out, but roll back so you couldn't get too much off of it. Frankensteiner. Leads another corner now. Has to deal with this mix. Zero. That yeah, could have easily uh, RPS there with Frankensteiner. Oh my god. That range on EX uh, Argentina backbreaker. Ooh, close D2. Very good option against Cronin with low crush. Spending three bars. Not dead yet. I love that. Just not pressing any buttons, just to catch the roll through. Oh, a little bit too far. If they had the EX bar, they could have potentially gotten that command grab, but just too far there. Oh my gosh, again. The run up from Shadow X is so scary with Iori. So try to wiggle a bit. Nice anti air, gets the counter hit, and there we go. Down to the Iori mirror at anchor. Final round. Ready? Go! Oh my gosh, classic one brain cell. Both of them just backing off at the beginning of the round. Yeah, Shadow X. Getting the first combo here. Oh, I love that frame trap. Close B into 5C. Low profile, the KOF classic, but gets no combo off of it. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. The positioning here is very, very important. Yori has a lot of backwards burst movement. So, like, being able to place where you want to be on the screen is very easy for this character. But keeping the pressure on in the corner. Yeah, I love that. Going for the hop back just to make sure you have space to run back up. Oop! Sako tried to poke out with that 2B. And now Dia Shadow X going to go up 2-1 here against Violent King. Round one. Ready? Go. Yeah, it's been so close with both of these players here. Again, just trying to find good positioning on the screen. Oh, and what a whip punish with that far C and a jump in again. The Shadow X is finding these perfect timings on Valon Kane's tendencies. Oh my gosh, what a crazy punish! I guess the two A punish off the off the fire there. Oh, again, the X counter. Such a good option to stop that pressure going. Good. Ooh, the run up C. Nice and drop or hopped over the fireball there. Round two. Ready? Go. And the Shadow X is consistently winning up the the rock uh point battle there. And always getting a lot of damage on Cronin too, I feel. And Kadesh definitely put it in the work here, but no Violent Kane poking out. Can easily just uh, win this out just through a couple trades, just poking out and the snipe out. Yeah, doesn't even bother going for the roll through, just keeping it safe, just going for the guard cancel. Ooh, again. Great hop CD. Did that fireball a little bit too close for comfort. Stand to ground. Ready? Go. Yeah, so there's no Maturino today because today we are, um, the pot is provided by Intel Gaming, uh, 250 bucks. So in lieu of donating to the Maturino, check out exclamation point Intel to donate to the four charities that we're raising money for. Um, so definitely go check that out, exclamation point Intel or below the stream at the Renaissance Charity Foundation uh, panel. Yeah, now Violent Kane has the Shadow X against the wall here. Oh, nice reach with a 2C. Not enough to end it, though. Oh, the run up. You love it. Good God, look at this damage. Oh, the Clark step into the Frankensteiner. Come on now. Oh my god, instant 2D, no, but the backbreaker. Oh, nice jump back. Oh god, the Frankenstein beat the jump. The yeah, Shadow X is fighting out really well with Clark. Able to whip punish with a 2C, but nothing too much off of it, but the trade out here. You always gonna recover a bit of health. Honestly, AG42, if top 8 was half Clark's, I wouldn't even be mad. Ooh, the run up with the 5B. Yeah, the Shadow X is playing so confident in this mirror. As I say that, Violent Kane getting the jump in combo. Pushing into the corner. Ooh, the command grab too. Gosh, and the hop in place. Great read on the command grab. Violent Ken reaching into the same a little bit too much here. Ooh, the MD 
Misty. This is potentially the set here if the Shadow X wins this. Oh, nice hop over the fireball. Wow, that was so clean. Ooh, the crouch beam max cancel. And there we go. The Shadow X taking a 3 1 over Violent Kane. All right, let's get into it here. TNS KO 15 27 Grand Finals. Yeah, everything's okay with proxy, um, just power and slash or internet at the moment. Um, so everything is still A-OK -okay over there besides that specifically. All right, Reno. And he hit by Dia Shadow X. Nice Pokemon. Now, I love to pick the for Yori here. Yori's been actually been dealing really well with Elizabeth throughout the tournament today. Oh no, but not if you let it rip like that. And Elizabeth going to seal it out, not to spend any bar there. Oh, nice trying to live. Cancel off of that CD. Oh no! Going for the light DP this time, so not too. Actually, still got a big punish off of that. Not able to get close C. Again, a lot of damage here, EX. Oh my god, Restand. Can easily just go for. Fred just ticking with that 2B right into the slice. Looking like an OCV here. The Shadow X doesn't clean it up here with the Clark. It has a lot of bar to play around with coming up on 5 here. That's going to be a lot of supers potentially or EX tackles. Nice jumps the Steiner. Oh my gosh, and jumps the Argentina backbreaker too. Are you serious? Oh, catch the roll. Could just chip out here. Oh no. And the jump back D. Reno getting the first match here in this grand finals. Man. That's a little rough there for DS Shadow X. We'll see if there's maybe any order switches or maybe potentially different characters. Nope, right back into it. Round one. Ready? Go. Oh, the run up command grab. Alright, poking right back. Ooh, I love that. Tried to rehop, but nope. Jump back D from Reno. Oh, nice. Just clipping up. Hop D. Crouch B. Keeping it real simple here, right in the super. Taking some damage or pressure. Yeah, close each. Maybe attempt, uh, attempted a grab there, or a grab tech. Oh no, Got getting a little bit too antsy there with the fireball. We're, you know, just hopping again with that jump D. Guys gets the anti-air. Oh my gosh! EX Life from full screen and gets a full pickup here. Good stuff from DS Shadow X. Are you Reno down to the sheer now? Get the P. Great grab. Oh my god, just knocking on the door with these jump C's, but DS yeah, Shadow X not gonna open it. And that door closed. Oh my gosh, level one to level two. Not gonna reach the corner so you don't get the 6 AOTG. Oh my god. 
Oh, there's the guard crush too. So unfortunate there for Dia Shadow X. Yeah, you can't sit here blocking too much against uh, Yashiro. It's kind of hard. The way the pressure works, it kind of resets. And then it pushes you out of range to counter poke. Oh, nice. Oh, doesn't go for any. Oh, what is happening? Did not get anything off that EX Argentina. I love this patience here, too. Just kind of making sure it's hard for Clark to go for the air to air. Oh, tried to run up close. C. great poke out from the Shadow X. And now down to Ash. Reno doesn't have too much bar. Again, I say that a lot as Reno doesn't have too much bar. But the chat keeps telling me that two bars is enough for a TOD. And I would love to see it. Oh, again, the Frank Center going right through the jump in run up. EX, Argentina backbreaker is good. We're going to go back into the corner. No, just going for the Oki. Oh, okay. Is that off of like a 2B or is it like a jump in or a CD or something? But Reno pressuring Dia Shadow X in the corner now. Oh my gosh, it's so stressful. Getting the air to air at the EX tackle. A bad situation here for Reno. Oh, I love the patience. Oh my god! Again, EX Argentina backbreaker tying it up. 1 1. Yeah, no sense culotte in the combo? That sounds that sounds crazy. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> Right, Dia Shadow X, keeping the pressure on here on Reno. No, but nice jump in. No bar to really convert too much off of it. Ooh, the push out. Nice. The CD. Oh my god. Actually hit the race stand off the CD with a fireball, but wasn't ready to convert off of it. Nice. Antire into super level one. Who tried to swing? We're gonna try and get this life off of Iori here. Oh, tried to walk up a nice defensive close C from Dia Shadow X. Nice check with the 2A. 2A goes incredibly far. It's such a good tool. Nice trades off the CD. Into the juggle. Into the punch. Super not enough. You just go for... Oh, try to go for a chip out. Nice DP. Yeah, Shadow Wax. Yup, the hop back. That command grab was coming. Round three. Ready? Go. Nice. The air to air. Doesn't get too much off of it, but we push towards the corner. Ooh, the DP again. The light one, too. Very late. Right in the super. Ooh, gets the grab. So sneaky. All right, this time Ash is stocked up. Next hit could definitely delete K-Dash. We try to jump over the fireball, expecting, a, expecting just going for the straight fireball, went for the up kick. 
Oh my god, the far seed. Nice confirm. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I love the tech. Try to go for a punish. Oh no. The classic Ash combo. EX. There we go. Into the corner. This would be real close. Yeah, not enough. Oh, just going for the DP instantly in the slide too. Oh my goodness, DS Shadow X, now up to one on reset point now. Good lord. Made two instant instant decisions too. The crazy thing is that the Shadow X instantly DP'd after the combo and then instantly did EX slide. Like, come on. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> Shadow X always runs up for the command grab instantly. They've really earned a lot of that pressure from just like like the burst uh, movement of just run up close C. It's so scary. Ooh, nice pick up too off the CD. Try to go for the taco, but no good. A little bit too far. Now Elizabeth's trying to get a start, but Shadow X guard canceling out of the corner. Guard cancel for a guard cancel here. We don't want a pixel. Trying to make this work, but the close seat trades out here. And you are going to get a little bit of health back. Reach for the top. Ready? Go! Again, having active defense of that hop CD backwards. Trying to stop this, but the Shadow X, you know, back yourself into the corner against uh, this Iori, like, might not be too great of an idea with the way the Shadow X has been playing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the, the, the double fireball, full jump, jump C. Burn to fight. Ready? Oh my gosh, we're canceling off that whip CD and just go for the CD again. A safe jump. Oh, and it crossed up, but they didn't believe in it. Oh, nice. The armor on the DP is good. Oh, the triple roll from Reno. Yep, DP out of there again. EX slide hits low. Cashing out all of this damage here in the corner gets the knockdown. You roll through close C, guard cancel out. You don't want to deal with that pressure off the close C, but tip tip taps into the EX rush punches. Right, we are down to just Kralk again. We are Kralk gaming. Oh my god. Instantly just air to air jump a EX tackle Oki situation. Again, Reno's been making such good use of the CD as a poke at these great ranges. When he gets rewarded with a safe jump, nice rollout. And that is super dead. And there we go. Clark versus Ash again here on the anchor battle. Nice hop over the fireball. Setting out the orb too, just in case. Wanna cover all of his angles to make sure Clark can't move forward too easily. Oh my god, just goes for the air grab. Oh, the air to air to the tackle gets the knockdown. Flash kick is good. This time gets the cross up. That is so gross. We've seen that hit a couple times tonight. Right to the EX super. And there we go. This should be the round here. 
there we go. Two, two in this grand finals. Both players trying to fight it out for this last match in this set. And again, no adjustments for the order on either side. Happy to just play this out. It's been so back and forth. Look at this movement here. The Shadow X not trying to go for too much. Just backing off. Find the right spacing. Gosh, Reno. Again, just checking the feet. These crouch bees. Oh my gosh, full hop C. It's so hard when Iori can just kinda, you know, go for the back dash into the taco to kind of create space just so they can take the space again. It's very much a hit and run kind of play style. Round two. Ready? Nice catch. Does he cash out into the follow up? Oh, again, the CD. Going to EX. Oh, no, taking the knockdown. <laughs> Did run up Crouch B. Did it again, and then right into the frame trap 2A into 6A. Good stuff. Classic Yashiro pressure. Ooh, nice. Yeah, the close A frame trap into that 2C. Oh my god, clips him as he's crouching with that jump C full combo here. Try to go for the 2C for the anti-air, but goes right through the cross-up. And just a sliver of chip here. Ooh, just a little, just a little pat on the head. Go to sleep. All right. Clark is fully stocked here. Reno has a full character over him right now. But I need to use this bar to make this comeback. Oh my gosh! Oh no, the run up EX Argentina. Into the corner we go, rolling Death Cradle. Oh, the close D. Oh my gosh, another C. D doesn't have the bar to cash out in a super, but still trying to run Clark into the corner here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. a little bit too far for the confirm. And the DP, the armor goes right through. Nice guard cancel. All of the five bars are almost used here for Clark to be real tough. Even if Clark gets through Yashiro here, the run up to B. And this is it. Reno will be your TNS Kawa 15 27 champion here. Good stuff to Reno. And also to the Shadow X.